everyone, it's Valerie here. Can you believe it? We've got to that time of year already when it's time to take cuttings from our summer flowering shrubs. What I've done today is I've gone round and I've collected just a couple to get started. One of them is a favourite of mine called Keria japonica and it's a really really pretty shrub it has small globes of yellow flowers all crammed together that wave about in the wind really pretty so i wanted to propagate it and get a few more if possible i've collected in my polythene bag to stop them losing all their moisture i've collected just a few cuttings i've got four all together here and I've made a compost up that's spent seed compost. I've put some gravel in it. I have used quite a small gravel, it's aquarium gravel. Um, so there's a small stone in there and I've also put a lot of vermiculites, which is this stuff. It's um, a mineral that's really good for opening up compost because what you don't want to do is make these too wet so basically all you do fill your pot up and get your cutting what I have is a very sharp blade to cut my cuttings because we want to keep them really sharp we don't want any snags or anything on it we want to keep them nice so I'm going to just take that Bit off at the bottom then we just take these lower leaves off just leave it with two leaves at the top and that's it and then all you do is you put it down the edge of the pot why do we put it down the edge of the pot it's so it doesn't stand in water because down that side it'll always drain away so it can be moist one side, but it won't get both. So it's, it prevents rotting off. I think that's the reason. Now this one is a softer cutting. So what we do with that is we cut it just below the node. Take the lower leaves off, same way as the other one. Take the top part out. So it'll end up looking like that with the node cut across the bottom there. There's two little leaves. And that's just shoved in the side as well, up against the edge. And you should get new leaves coming out of these joints here, these little nodes. And then once again, shove that in that corner. And that's it done. Remember to label it. I forgot my pen, so I'm going to have to do that in a minute. A good idea is to put the whole water it well and then put it in something like a plastic bag. Bread bags are quite good for this sort of thing because they're nice and big and you can get air in there with them and then just seal the top like that. So that's the carrier. Now the other thing I've got is a hydrangea. Now this is hydrangea vanilla phrase. It is an absolutely beautiful hydrangea. It has lovely big blousy pink and white flowers on it that's sort of elongated really rather than the round ones they are so pretty and i wanted a few more of them so here we go again same principle you see where these bottom leaves are cut it just below that so that you leave that joint on then take the leaves off You want to take the tip out because you don't want it growing on and then the next leaf I'm going to cut these ones in half this little cutting has to put all its energy into here to try and produce roots if it's trying to keep these leaves going it will die off but it does need some leafage so we leave a little bit on it and then the same as the carrier plant you just stick it in down the side be careful not to break it I should have made a hole first and that's it that's that one done
it's a good idea to just take your cuttings from material that hasn't flowered. Doesn't mean the whole shrub hasn't flowered, it's just that little branch you're taking. So that's the hydrangea. Right, we've got one more to do today. It's a Weigella called Diablo. Just love the colour of it. It's a really, really lovely looking plant. I quite like using square sided pots. <laughs> no real reason to, you could use any shape. I quite like using them for this because I can get one cutting in each of the corners. <laughs> Just going to pull that one off there. These are a bit harder, these ones are a bit of a harder cutting. The reason you cut the leaves off down low is because they would rot if we put them in the compost. And then you'd have all sorts of trouble, so <laughs> we don't want to do that. And that's it. Give them a good water. We've got our hydrangea, our carrier, and our weigella. And in a very short period of time, we'll have 12 plants for nothing. Hopefully, if they all take. So we give them a good watering now, put them in a plastic bag so they don't dry off too much, and then we just wait and see what happens. In a couple of weeks, lift them up, have a look, see if there's anything showing at the bottom, any little roots coming out. Once they start to appear, pot them up into decent compost so they've got something to eat, and away they'll go. And then in the autumn, you can plant them out wherever you like. That's it for now. I've got lots more cuttings to take of other shrubs, but this was just to give you an idea of how I do my cuttings. I hope it's been helpful to you. Until next time, it's bye-bye from Valerie.